All right, let me show you guys what is going on right now. I have a Aperture COB120T. This is a tungsten light and it's shooting right into this whiteboard over here and that light is bouncing back into this chart. It looks normal because I've set my camera for tungsten to balance for tungsten. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is I'm gonna run through the GH5 profiles and I just wanna see which one um, can retain the highlights as well as some of the shadows in this chart. Um, I'm trying to simulate a high contrast scene. I've got like 10 minutes to do this before I head out so I just wanted to see which profile I wanna shoot with on this uh, GH5 before I go run out. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly run through this test. I'm at ISO 200, if you guys care, and F5.6. I'm also using a Metabones uh, speed booster adapter, so aperture is probably a little bit more than that. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna run through the profiles. Don't worry about the look and the sharpness and you know all that stuff. I'm just trying to get through the profiles and see which one I like better. So um, again, tungsten balance, ISO 200, and F5.6 with a speed booster, so it's a little bit more than that. Let's uh, run through the profiles. All right, first thing, we are at Cine D. Um, and, you know, I'm exposing for the board here, so we should be protecting these highlights over here. And we're not crushing the shadows as far as I can see on my waveforms. Um, so this is Cine D. And we'll jump to the next one. All right, so this is Cine V. And as you can see, there's a lot more contrast going on over there. Uh, this is Cine V. All right, this one is called 709L, and without changing any of the settings on the camera, I could see that the board over here is kind of clipping now. Um, so this is 709L. All right, here we are at standard. Um, again, a little bit more contrasty and barely getting into the uh, highlights here, clipping on the highlights. So this is the standard profile. All right, so this is vivid. Um, it's definitely bringing down the midtones quite a bit and barely peeking on this white board here. Uh, this is the vivid profile. Now this is natural. Um, it's definitely brought down the highlights a little bit more and the midtones a little bit, so it's a little more flat, natural, I guess. Now this one is scenery and it's uh, definitely a little bit more contrasty. Push the highlights up a little bit more um, and also the shadows down a little bit. So this is scenery. All right, this is portrait, one of my favorite modes. Um, obviously you could tweak all the settings in any of these profiles. You could tweak uh, a lot of stuff in this GH4, but I'm looking at the default profiles right now and this is a uh, portrait mode, portrait profile. All right, I wouldn't use this, but just for kicks, this is the mono uh, chrome profile in the GH5. And this is the L dot mono uh, profile on the GH5. Again, I wouldn't use these uh, black and whites very much. All right, so this is the profile I decided to go with this weekend. Um, I'll see how it goes. This is portrait profile and then I've customized it. Uh, contrast is negative five, saturation is negative five, noise reduction is negative five, and saturation is negative two. I've also gone into the highlight and shadow. My highlights are at negative four, so I'm trying to keep that as much as possible. And my shadows is just plus three. I don't want to boost it too much because um, sometimes that brings in noise. Uh, and it's a very flat profile, but not as flat as say Cine D or anything. So uh, I'll, I'll try this one out and um, I'll see what happens.